Good morning or afternoon, depending on when you're watching this. My name is Lisa Fote and I am your Hope Teacher. So welcome to the 2023-24 school year. I'm so excited to kick off another year. And so as a Hope Teacher, we have a couple different things that we're focusing on this school year. We're focusing on an online component, which we are learning about health, we're moving through 27 chapters in an online textbook where the students will be in the lab at least one 90 minute block per week. And they will be working through about anywhere from nine to 10 worksheets. So each week we will be assigned a new chapter and the students will go in and they will complete worksheets and they will upload them to Schoology. I will then grade the following Monday, which means 30% of each student's grade comes from the worksheets that they're doing in class. Then on Wednesdays of every week, we are writing a chapter summary, and that is a summative grade. So that will comprise about 70% of the student's hope grade, okay? Then on Thursdays and Fridays, we are in the gym for a full block. So we will be learning different cardiovascular and different strength training moves this quarter. So each day I have prepared four cardio moves and four strength moves, and we will do that for about six weeks. So they will learn a total of 12 cardio moves, 12 strength moves. And then at the end of the quarter, the students will be put into groups and they will perform some cardio and strength moves of their choice. That will be a summative grade. So that will go into that 70% as well. So there is both a health online component and a physical fitness PE component. So the requirements for the PE is all students must be dressed out Every single day, I am giving them points for dressing out. So if they have their niece uniform on, then they get five points. If they have tennis shoes on, they get five points. If they're missing tennis shoes and show up in Crocs, they only get five out of 10 points. So the requirement is you have to have a tennis shoe or a rubber sole. Vans would be okay. Crocs, slides, even Crocs in sports mode are a no-no. So no Crocs, no slides, no flip-flops has to be a tennis shoe. And then any type of knee shirt, whether it is a t-shirt from PE or weightlifting is fine. Girls are allowed to wear plain black shorts or plain black leggings only, okay? Um, we do have uniforms for sale. They are $30, 15 for the top, 15 for the shorts. And then we have lockers available as well in the girls locker room. If your student wants to get a lock, it is $5. And so I can take monies at school. It has to be cash or check and I will take care of that for them. So other than that, that's pretty much how our class is gonna go. Every Monday or Tuesday on that block day, when I see the students, they are in the lab. They are working diligently on their worksheets. I will tell you this, that 90% of the students should be able to get all nine worksheets done in that 90 minute block. So they don't have homework. What they don't finish in class does become homework. So if I assign it on a Monday or Tuesday, it is due by Sunday evening because when I come in on Monday morning, I grade. And I'm not gonna take late assignments. If you're out of town or you're sick, we'll make arrangements. But otherwise, everything is due by Sunday night so that when I come in Monday morning, you get either a zero or a 100 for doing your worksheets. Now, the only caveat here is that you do have to answer the actual question and not just put any kind of bogus answer and think that you're going to get a good grade. So we're doing that on Monday and Tuesday. Wednesdays, again, we're doing our summatives. I only see the students about 40 or so minutes on Wednesdays because it's early release. So we write our chapter summaries and then on Thursdays and Fridays, we're in the gym doing some type of fitness. The fitness component will take about 30 minutes of activity. They will have about seven minutes at the beginning to dress. They'll have about seven minutes at the end to dress again. So that'll take about 45, 50 minutes. So we will have a little bit of downtime in the gym because I can't physically require students to work out for 90 minutes. So I hope this was helpful. I'm super excited to be here at Nice. I love teaching. I've been in education for over 20 years, whether it was in higher education, I teach group fitness classes, um, I've taught at the high school level and I absolutely love teaching. I'm very passionate about health and fitness and wellness. And I hope that I can inspire your kids to make healthier choices as they navigate their teenage years. So thanks so much for tuning in. I'm excited for this year. Please always feel free to reach out if you ever have questions.